today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a Free Looks One palette. It has been quite a long time since I did one of those. I The latest like multiple looks in a one video I did was my 5 palettes 5 looks with a BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. But today I'm doing a Free Looks One palette and I was planning on doing a Free Looks One palette with Nabla like a long time ago. I don't want to do it anymore or not right now because I want to play with the Tokyo Harajuku palette from Nomad. In my first impression I was like amazed and I haven't used it since then because I just haven't had the time but today I am starting to do my Free Looks One palette and this palette looks like this. I really really love the front of the palette. It is really cute. I really like the front of the palette. It is really, really cute. And oh, the shadows, the prints in the shadows, they is a little cats. And you know me, I'm a crazy cat lady. And I have learned something because some of you told me and I also looked it up. Um, the top row is matte, the middle row is satins, and the bottom row is duochromes. I hope I got it right. So I'm doing a look with this. Or three looks. <laughs> but I'm going to start with one look. And I tried to do this. To start this video yesterday. It was such a badass. Badass. <laughs> it was such a bad day yesterday. You know when you're like. You're so angry. It's like it's bubbling inside of you. And you just want to like hit something or somebody. That was me yesterday. So I like. I put on my eyeshadow primer and then I was just like, fuck this, I am not going to be able to do this. So I was just not going to do it, I'm going to watch TV and do nothing. So yeah, <laughs> today I'm starting. So I'm going to prime my eyes, zoom in a little bit and do my first look. So for my first look, I want to try to do something a little bit darker. I hope I succeed and I'm actually going to try to take this one of the satins shade in my crease. I really hope it work. It sometimes work with different shadows. So I'm going to, I'm so sad that I'm going to destroy these cute little cats. But I'm going in with this in my crease and hopefully think it works I maybe it's not like as good in the crease as it would be on my lid but I still think it works really good and that is good it gives also a little bit like shimmer to my crease and I I'm not mad at it at all I actually think this looks pretty cool in my crease if I'm going to be completely honest now I am going to find a new brush So I'm going to deepen down this crease with this dark grey. But I don't know if I want to go the whole way or if I just want to take it out here. I will start out here. And I just want to go in not with that much because I don't know. Do you think I actually will take it the whole way? I really like how this lays over the satin shade. So something like that. And then I'm going to continue with the shade like on my outer lid space. Because I want to go in with I think this one on the most of my crease. But I want to deepen it down 
just take a little bit of a darker shade like out here and that is why I wanted to take this darker in my crease as well because I don't want it to look strange or anything and maybe like doing a great look with this fun palette is strange because I gray is not my favorite but I like really wanted to do something a little bit darker maybe this isn't going to be that dark I might just go in with the brush that I had in my crease with the, the satin light gray shade and just and just go over it a little bit. I don't know if this helps like anything but sometimes I just do things because it feels good and I have no like thought around it. Okay so then I go in with this pinkish purpley shade and take it on the rest of my crease and I'm going to try to not cut it out first and see how it will lay on top of the gray I might want to cut or do I? maybe this will look cool because it feels like this maybe isn't that like opaque but maybe I can build it up or maybe this really looks good who am I? S since when do I do like this grey and pink Okay, now I like can't stop thinking about how this pink would look on a glitter primer but at the same time I think I like this it feels fun but also maybe a little bit grungy is that even a thing I don't know I'm going in just a little, little bit with the dark gray and blend it put it over and ooh. okay I actually because <laughs> when I sometimes I actually plan my looks like a little bit and swatch the colors next to each other just to see how they will look but and I actually did it with this and this was not what I imagined because this swatched on its own it is really like opaque but maybe but it is a satin why do I swatch here? <laughs> hello hello okay I can swatch on the back of my hand instead because it looks like this swatched so it looks like that on my eye but at the same time I like expected it to be really bright I don't know why but I think I actually really like this and it looks really good like on top of but now I might got some gray into it I actually think I am more happy with this than the picture I had in my head. I think if I would have cut the crease it would have been a little bit more what I imagine it to be but this this looks good. This looks a little bit mm, different in a good way <laughs> it's 
So I actually think I am more pleased with this than the thing I was imagining, and that is good. It's much better on this eye. But how did I do it? I hate this. Maybe I should start to do makeup on one eye. Like, have one naked eye. Or just film all my videos with just one eye. Maybe I should get like a pirate patch. Oh, hurry, sailors. Okay, I think I just need to stop to put on more and more and more. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then we're going to do something to the under eyes. And I actually feel like I want to do the same. I am thinking about taking this as an inner corner highlight. And maybe really like smoke it up because that has a little bit of pink and blue to it. Or maybe I should take this yellow that has a little bit of pink. No, I actually think I will take this because I think it will go good both with the pink shade and also the gray shade. S gray shades. So <laughs> I will fix my base and then I come back. So I am going to do my lower lash and I think I will go in with, I think I will try to take this satin, almost said shimmer, the satin shade and take it, I think the whole way, or maybe I want to go in, because I want to do the same, but I don't know if I want to take, no I do not, <laughs> what, I'm going to take the dark matte one, out here and then I'm going to take this satin pink one the rest and hopefully it will look as good as it did you on my lid and I always when I do my lower lash I tap off my brush like a crazy person because I do not want the eyeshadow to fall on my face and it feels like my voice <clears throat> At work today I had like a voice crack, you know, when you try to talk but it just... <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm going to lose my voice. What's up with that? Because I am not sick. So I go in with the pink one I had in here, the satin, and hope it will stick, but I guess it will. Oh yes, oh yes it does. I really do like this and I want to go in with this one in my inner corner. I'm going to try to show you, where, where are you? <laughs> I don't know if you can see like the duochrome in it. How the hell do people do this? I have no idea. But it's like blue and pink. So I want to take that in my inner corner. But I don't know if I want to. So I think I actually want to spray it. Yeah. So I'm going to spray it. I really like this shade. Okay, so <laughs> I really like this. I will just put on something in my wash line, put on mascara, and use a lip. That is always hard. Yes. I will fix that and then I come back. So, this is the finished first look for my wash line. I used Amethyst Hour from Colourpop. This is a new one. This is in their. Um, I fresh out like this tie dye collection, and on my lips I used the kernel from Nabla. 
I really like this lipstick, but like I don't know what it goes to. I don't think it was like the best choice to this eye look, but I just love the color and I want to use it. So this is my first look with the Nomad, Nomad Tokyo Haruyuku palette. I don't know why I have such a hard time to say it. Tokyo Haruyuku palette. I think it's because I'm trying to make it more like English in my head. Tokyo Haruyuku. I should say so. Why, why do I change my voice? Why do I change my voice? I don't know. So this is the first look and I used... This grey one in my crease, it works really really good even though it is um, satin. It was not like that. Okay, I missed a little bit dark here. Can I go in with that now? Okay, it looks a little bit better. <laughs> I, I think it worked really good in the crease. It was like, it was very very soft in the crease and I like that. And this matte was also really good and it laid on top over the the satin really good and then I put this one and was this what I like expected or like what I thought the end look was going to be no do I like this more <laughs> yes I actually think so because it feels really like cohesive I actually really like this I'm really happy with it and I like my inner corner highlight I don't know if you can see the shift to blue but so happy with the first look I like I want to use so much of these shadows so I don't know what to do next but I will figure something out I might have thought I thought I might think what I want to do but yeah I really hope you like this first look and if you want to see the other two looks just keep on watching it is time for the second look with the Tokyo Haruyuku palette from Nomad Cosmetics. And I think I know. Maybe I should stop saying that every damn time, but I can't. So I am just going to start with the second look. And if you saw the first look, I... <laughs> forgot that I changed the settings on the camera so the first part of this video is very yellow as you might saw and so I'm going to do like the most simple look ever I am going to do two different eyes and I think I'm just going to go in with two shades on each eye so I think I want to do or do I maybe I just changed my mind Okay, so I changed my mind and changed my mind again. <laughs> so, I am going to do pink and purple on, on one eye and yellow and green on the other eye. And I think this is going to be my yellow and green eye and this is going to be my purple and pink eye. So, for this eye I'm going to take this yellow and then this green and I will start with this green. That is one of the settings and take it just like on half of my lid and then go in with the yellow one. Just because sometimes I want to keep it simple and I really like it so we'll see how this will look. I think this brush might be stained with something. I don't know. Feels like is it really that? Because I think it feels a little bit like dark. This is a clean brush. So we will see. That is like the only thing I am not. I don't know if I want to say, like, I'm not disappointed. Can you see me good? I can't see, I can't see it any. 
Okay, I'm not disappointed in it, but like the shimmer row, it is quite... I don't know, it's not like as pastel as I want it to be, but at the same time I think like this is just how the shadows are. And if you saw my first look, I took the pink shimmer and it was not what well, like... I had my mind on but I really like that look so maybe it is the same with this one and do you see my crazy amount of fallouts and yeah, maybe it's hard to miss because it is all over my face okay I, I hope I didn't like destroy it with my f brush if it wasn't clean in the beginning The green is down and then I'm going in with this one, the yellow one, and I'm going to take it on the rest of my lid. Oh, see how this looks? Ew, this is a cute little, like... Pastel yellow. Really bright, maybe pastel is a no, not bright, but really light. I think I actually really like this. Such a cute little yellow shade, and this Tokyo Harajuku palette it is inspired by Tokyo and the Harajuku part of Tokyo and this yellow I can definitely see how that is like inspired by it and even though it is light I still think it looks really good I love sometimes to do like these super simple eyes and just take two colors and it just works so so good together and I actually feel like I'm done with the lid like this super light fun and easy just I don't know so I go in to the other eye and then I'm going to take the pink one and this shimmer row and put it at where I put the green and now we'll see how this looks It was always fun. Ooh, this was bright and fun. Okay, this I really, really, really liked. And I'm actually using a new brush. This is a new Swedish brand that is called Fleur? Flair? Flair? L A E R flower flower <laughs> I don't know I bought it uh, I I know that people has done videos about them but I haven't watched any videos but it works really good this is not a video about my new brushes but Okay, I feel with this, because I can see it a little bit in this um, shimmer shade too, like when you blend it out, it doesn't lose the color, but it, it doesn't fade, but it's, it's not as bright anymore. But I have like nothing to complain about, now I'm going to see. I really, really, really need to wash my brushes. So now I'm going in with this purple shade and I actually used that in my first impression. But I really want to do with this pink and purple eye. Ok, 
Loki, this looks like candy. Like a little candy makeup. <laughs> I it looks like I have candies on my eyes. And actually I am not complaining even though like I love grungy looks. But this is really such a cute shades. I just really like it. Do you hear my share? What is this for? This baby hair? It's getting kind of long I guess for being baby hair but I'm sick and tired of it. Okay, even though... <laughs> um, no, I took the wrong shade. Even though pink and purple isn't my favorite shades, I really love this little eye. It looks so freaking fun and bright and just... I don't know. I just want to sit here and put on more and more and more and more and more and more and more. But I guess I'm not going to. I'm just going in a little bit with... The Yellow. You can really see that I have a problem, like, remember when to say yellow, when to say pink, and when to say purple. I don't know, because I know that what is purple and what is yellow and what is pink. It's just in my head, it's just... Mm. And do you want a little Swedish lash lesson? So, in Swedish, the shades I have on this eye, it's rosa och lila. And on this eye, I have gul och grön. Gul, grön. So, pink is rosa, purple is lila, yellow is gul, and green is grön. Why did I do that thing myself? It's... If you... If you don't speak two languages, it's so hard to switch between them in one sentence and it's just this, I have to change how I think. I don't know. It's strange. So okay, I actually think I am done with the lids like this and I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows and then do my under eyes and maybe I should take something else I don't know and I think I also want to go in with one of these down here one or two maybe we will see but some of these in the bottom row to have as an inner corner highlighter maybe I switch we will see so time for base and brows so it's time for the under eyes and I don't know I don't know if I want to do the same or if I want to do like only one color on this eye and one color on that eye. I think I will at least start with on this side to take the green and see where I want to go <laughs> with it. And see if I might... It's a cat there on this brush. And see if I might want to take it the whole way or not. But at the same time I really like the yellow one. So I might want to take that one as well. Maybe. No, I actually think I'll take the screen the whole way. And on this side, I am going to take the pink one. And then I need to swatch. I think I can take this one. I hope that is purple. It's purple and pink. I'm trying to like duochromes and like multichromes. 
But I think it's a little bit hard because you never know what you're going to get. But I think I actually want to try to take these cues. So I take this one on my pink and purple eye and this one on my yellow and green eye. The only problem is... Let's see if I can show you. With this one it is... No, I can't. For you it's only look really... Oh, maybe there. Do you see it's like pinkish? But I guess... I just have to try. So I will spray my brush and I might start with one that I'm sure of. So I will start with this one. And now it's so many things to hold. So I take this and I am a little bit sad because I have destroyed one, two, three, four, four, five, six cats in this palette. Zoom seven. <laughs> Ooh, this was intense. I haven't used this shape before. <laughs> I was trying to do like this. Yeah. That would work. Not. So that inner corner is done. Maybe I should take another brush, but I don't have another brush. I do, but they are all dirty. So now I'm going in with uh, this one on that eye, and I hope that I can at least see some of the yellow when I have it. It is really, really yellow on my brush at least, but... Did I use this in my first impression? I think I did. I don't know. Maybe I should have switched them. It's too late for that. But okay, I will put something in my waterline, put on mascara and take a lippy and then I come back with a finished look. So this is the finished look and... It looks boring with this lips, doesn't it? Who is this? Do you know what? I'm going to find something else because this is... Not me. Much better, even though the application wasn't that good, but... Do I, do I look crazy? Do I questioning my choice of red lipstick? Yes, I do. <laughs> what? This doesn't look good either. Not this kind of a day again. <laughs> okay, so if it doesn't go with this red, you know what? doesn't feel good. So, okay, this is the finished look. Third lipstick. I don't know. I took a lip toning from Kaleidos. This is Injection. And on my waterline, on this eye I have from Colourpop Extra Frosting and Peach Fuzz on the other one. And this is the finished look, and I really, really like the eyes. I I just wanted to do something fun and happy, and I think this is fun and happy. So, I've used these two, the purple and the yellow, and here I used the pink and the green. And then in my inner corners, I used these two. And this is just such a simple look. If you want to do it even s more simple, just do the same on each eye. It doesn't get like any more simple than this. I really like it. I like to do two different eyes and usually when I do it I like to do them k not too much because it is fun just because it's two different eyes. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. So yeah. 
But this is the second look and if you want to see the third look, just keep on watching. It is time for the third look with the Nomad. Now the Tokyo Harioko palette from Nomad Cosmetics. It looks like this and I am going to do... I don't really know. I will at least start with this yellow shade in my crease and also this orange and I'm going to take the yellow in here so just like in my inner crease and just just a little bit in here did I use this in to look at it before this I think I did. I think that is like the only thing when I'm doing three looks, one palette. I'm not always like sure the look that I did before because sometimes I it takes a couple of days between the looks and filming because just do so I take it like in my inner crease and it doesn't feel like this is showing up that much in my crease. And then I'm going in with this orange one and take it in the rest of my crease. And I have a new brush. I don't think I've used this. And I take this in my crease. And this orange, I used it in my first impression. And I really, really do like this orange. I think it's a really, really nice one. It's like bright, but it's not too bright and it's not too red and it's not too warm and it's not too, I don't know. I just like this orange really much. I think I'm just going to have it like that. And then I am going in with... I think I will take this pink shade and put it on my lid. Yes. But I think just like on my outer half of my lid. I love it when I'm like this unsure when I'm doing a look like when I don't have no idea what I actually want to do and that is kind of what I feel right now with this and I do I this I might do I will take it the whole way now I have taken it the whole way, so I guess I just going to continue with that. I think I I do like this. Because I think I want to go <laughs> it's a lot of thinking right now with this yellow and pink one. I've used this in look at it before. I think I used it as an inner corn highlight. And I think I want to cut a half cut crease and put that on and just have it as a hopefully cool cut crease. So I go in with my NYX Glare Primer and I'm going to do a little bow cut crease and I'm going to be a little bit concentrated here. And then I take this yellow and pinkish duochrome and put it on and I don't think I have ever... I sprayed it when I had it in my inner corner but I don't think I have ever put it in on a glare primer and this... Okay, I really like this. I have no idea how this looks for you. But 
I really do like it. It is like right here. Right in here it is a little bit yellow and then the rest is pink. And yeah, I I do like it. I'm just going to take the pink shade I had out here and put some more on. It looks like almost the same shade on my whole lid in some way, shape or form, I don't know. But I do really like it, it's really light, but I do really like it. So I will cut this cat crease as well, put on my base, and then I come back and we do the under eyes together, and then I'm going to do a little review on this palette. So yeah, I will cut this crease, fix my base, and then I come back. For my under eye, I think I just want to go in with this pink one. Actually, yes. I'm going to do that, so I'm going to tap it off and then take it on my whole lower lash. So, just as simple as that. And then I'm actually going in with this <laughs> yellow one. Why do I have such a hard time? Yellow, pink, and purple. This yellow one and put it in my inner corner. I actually like to have a matte in my inner corner, like a light matte. Not all the time, but sometimes I actually like that really, really much. So, something like that, and I always feel so naked without my mascara. So I'm going to put on mascara, take something in my waterline, and then I come back with the finished look and also the review on this palette. So yeah, if you want to see that, just, just hang in there, keep on watching. So, this is the third and final look for my waterline. I used Insomniac from Colourpop, and on my lips I used November from Colourpop. Mm. The lipstick seems to be my biggest problem throughout this video. So this is my third look with the Tokyo Harajuku palette from Nomad. And I'm going to scooch a little, I guess, I think. So what do I think about this palette? Now I'm going to do something I don't like. I'm going to be a little bit negative. I hope that I can make myself understood. So if you have seen my first impres impression, I was really really pleased with this palette. First off, we can just talk about like the front of the palette. I really like the front of the palette. It is just such a cute palette. The only thing that I like have never seen on a video when I looked at this palette, it is black on the back side. It doesn't bother me at all but it was just like when I took it out of the package I was like it's black on the back side I thought it was like this the whole way but it's not it has 15 colors it got a mirror I love mirrors in palettes sometimes it feels like I am the only one so this palette contains 15 shadows the top row is matte the second row is satins and the last row is duochromes I like the layout because I like when things are sorted in different ways. Just who I am. Maybe I have a little bit OCD about it. But I really like things to be sorted. I like to see patterns in things. So that I really like. And I really like the color story as well. This palette is inspired by Tokyo and especially like the Harajuku part of Tokyo and I can really see this, that in this palette and I think also that is the problem I have with this palette. If we take it row by row, if we start with easiest row, the duochromes, I am not that used to work with duochromes but I really like it. The one thing I 
I'm not super thrilled when it comes to duochromes is because you never know what you're going to get. You never know how like the light is going to be on the eyeshadow. Like this one, it's pink and yellow and I don't know in which angle is going to be pink and in which angle it's going to be yellow. And that is like my only problem, but that is just because I'm not used to work with duochromes. But I really think it is a fun row and I think it makes it so much more versatile when it is duochromes than just monochrome. <laughs> it's not called monochromes or is it? I hope you get what I mean, just not like glitters or something. The two that, or the one that is a little bit more just not the duochrome is this. This is kind of mostly purple. So I really like this row and it's fun for me to use more duochromes. The only recommendation I have is if you want it on your lid, put down a glitter primer or if you want it as an inner corner, spray it. Then we can go in to the middle row that is the satins and it was here I came across some problems. I haven't used this shade in the middle because it's just my, not my jam. The others I have used, you haven't seen me use all the shadows, but I have. Before I came up with this look, I tried to do two other looks, but I ran into problems. So if we go shade by shade, and yes, this is going to be a long review. The first shade, the Lolita, it is a really, really nice shade. I have it on today. I wished it would be more impact. Or more like brighter than it is but I really like it this one I, I don't know it feels like it's really similar to this one even though this looks so much darker than this one but on the lid they look really really similar and I think when you just put this on it's really like uh, it's almost see-through it's not a topper, but like between a topper and a normal shadow, if you get what I mean. And I felt like if I tried to pack it on, it got a little bit more like grayish. I, I think it might have be with, it is a satin shade, so it has some other colors in it or some other sheens in it. I hope you get what I mean. This one I haven't tried, as I said. This one I... Had in my first look, it was not what I expected it to be, but I really liked it. It isn't... I'm happy because this is really pink and this is not, and I liked it in this palette. So this one I don't have a problem with. This I actually used in my crease, and I think it worked really, really good. I don't know how it will look on my eyelids when I'm going in more and more and more, but I could build it up in my crease and... I like the shade and I like to have something that is not matte in my crease sometimes. I'm that kind of person. And okay, if we're going to do the top row, this orange is so so good. I really like it. It is orange, but it's not in your face orange, but it's not too little orange. It's a really good light pastel orange, so I really like it. This purple is I think it's this is the best matte in this palette. It is such a nice light pastel purple. I really, really, really like it. This yellow is really light. It works good on me because I have a fair skin type. I don't know how it will look on everybody, but on me it works. I like it. It's really light. Pastely yellows isn't my favorite. This one I had in my crease. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. I liked it. And then this darkest shade I had in my first look. And I really like it. It isn't patchy. It is nice to have something dark in this palette. And I really like it. So overall I like most of the shades. It has some shades that I don't know like how to work with. And this was... Okay, I, I'm going to try to freeze this so you can get what I mean. 
me as a person when it comes to eyeshadow I really like this strong colors this bold colors this in your face colors this palette give it to me with some of the shades but not with all of the shades because I think this palette is supposed to be it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be light it's supposed to be pastel -y, it's supposed to remind you of Tokyo makeup and I have never been to Tokyo but I've seen YouTube videos and makeup looks and so on and I think it captured that really good so I think the palette is good if you think what it is for for me as a bold crazy color lover it's not like what I wish for in one way but if I look at what it should be I think it's really good I hope you really get about me because that was the brain fartiest brain fart. I really hope that you get what I mean. And I think this palette would suit somebody that wants to go in into colors, but maybe are a little bit afraid of colors and don't want to use like super bright, super colorful, super like in your face colors. I think this is a really good option because you maybe just want to put a little bit of orange in your makeup look or maybe just a little hint of a pastel green. You can do it and it won't be too much. So I think Nomad did a really good work with what this palette is inspired by. But like for me I really like the palette and I am in one way happy that it isn't like all of the other colorful palettes I have but at the same time I know that I talk a lot when the memory card is full so if it is what I as a colorful lover person bright bold colorful wish for no but it really is like Me, it just feels like I'm repeating myself, but I really hope that you get what I mean. It is not in my For me a bad palette. It's just I can't think of that this one as I can't like compare it to the Kaleidos like this bright and colorful neon bam in your face here I am loving color and you can do nothing about it it's not a palette like that this is the own palette so I really hope that you get what I'm saying and I never like to talk bad about an indie brand palette but I don't think it's a bad palette, it's maybe not just what I expected it to be. Some of the shades are amazing, some of them are not what I want them to be. And I think I'm going to end this video here and I... If you have this palette, do you agree with me? And do you even understand what I'm trying to say? I am still happy that I have had have, have this palette and have played with it and I I like it it's just not what I expected it to be in one way but at the same way it really goes good what the theme is of the palette so yeah, I really hope you like this free looks and please tell me which one is your look I don't really know I like all the free looks in different ways I like the first look because it was kind of darker look I like the second look because I love two different eyes and I also like this look because of the duochrome I think it really is looking good so I don't know which one is my favorite maybe the look yesterday yesterday I, I maybe the, the, the look before this yesterday did I film it yesterday no I didn't even do that or did I no or so yeah, that is my free looks one palette and review of the Nomad palette. I would recommend it if you want a lighter, colorful palette and duochromes in your life. If you want the bam in your face, powerful, 
I'm all over the place bright colorful palette this is the palette for you so yeah I really hope you like this video and I'm going to shut up now and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye